Hey everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. Now I thought talking about the digestive system would be a great educational video for all of us so we can understand that once the food hits the lips, hits the teeth, and basically goes out of our body, what is happening with everything in between. Now we understand in previous videos that I've made that different foods have different effects upon your blood sugar. We know that protein has the highest thermogenic effect than any other foods out there. But what happens when the food hits the lips, hits our lips, and leaves our body? Now first, there's a fun fact. Did you know that the average human consumes about two to six pounds of food every single day? Now, digestion, little did I know, starts once the food hits the mouth. The saliva that we produce in our mouth, plus the teeth, break down the food into smaller particles. We basically have to take a whole food product and then convert it down into a liquid and then have all the nutrients digest in between. So what do we need to do? We need to take our time when we eat our food. We need to let the digestive system process start properly with the food hitting the saliva and us breaking down the food into smaller particles. Once you break it down into smaller particles, you actually speed up the metabolism of breaking down that food and absorbing the nutrients. So the next time you have a meal, don't just swallow everything whole. Try to take your time, chew your food, enjoy it, and let the juices in your mouth digest it properly so that you can actually have a faster metabolism when it comes to your food. Now the second brain. And I didn't know this myself, but did you know that the stomach actually has its own control center outside of the brain? It controls how the stomach muscles, nerves, and hormones work outside of the brain, controlling the rest of the body. Now we've heard of serotonin. We all know that this is the happy hormone that we release when we work out. But did we know that the majority of serotonin is actually produced in the stomach and not in the brain? So what you eat or don't eat can actually affect your mood. Now once we've gotten into the second brain and it hits the stomach, but did you know that the stomach lining, because of exposure to acidic juices, it actually replaces itself every four days. So every four days your stomach lining is reproducing itself and it's creating something new. And the stomach further breaks down the food and it kills off any bacteria before it enters into the small intestines. Now we've moved from the stomach into the small intestines. This is where the partially digested food moves into the small intestine where most of the digestion and nutrient absorption occurs. Now did you know that the average person's small intestine stretches over, over 20 feet? Now we've moved past the small intestine and we're into the large intestine. Now any undigested food and waste products move into the large intestine where water and electrolytes are absorbed. The rest of the waste gets stored and turned into a solid into the colon. For the next time that you relax and that you check your phone or update your status. We all know what I'm talking about. I thought this would be an interesting video for you because we always talk about nutrition and your metabolism that we dove deep into how the digestive system works. The second brain and how the second brain plays a critical role on your mood was super interesting and fascinating to me, and it actually makes kind of sense. So when we eat the foods that we grew up, that we loved and we enjoy, what ends up happening when we start to eat these foods is that we release the serotonin into the stomach, and that, in my opinion, could play a factor on us overeating the foods or the carbs or the salts or the fats that we absolutely love. So what do we need to do? Well, first, I would always tell you to eat the foods that you love because we do want to satisfy this second brain. We want to feel good. We want to enjoy the food that we have, but it all starts with the digestive system in your mouth. So when we eat the foods that we love, take your time, eat slower, let the mouth do its job. Let it hit the second brain. Let the second brain release this serotonin so it's giving you that happy hormone, but you need to mentally, so your first brain needs to shut down the second brain and just say, okay, I feel good, I feel fed, I've had enough. And if we do this, then we're gonna continuously be able to eat the foods that we love, but also keep the weight off. Now, if you're looking for strategies to help you keep the weight off while you enjoy the foods and having that increased accountability from a belly burn coach, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn. 
Now, if you've never been to Fit Club, my suggestion is to do the five days for five bucks. So go to www.fitclub.fit and just mention getting started.